DHL stands for von Hippel-Lindau disease, which is a rare genetic form of cancer. The BHL gene is, controls the major feeding pipeline of all cells, and when it's mutated or deleted, it causes the cells to grow, particularly the vasculature, the blood vessels, and these blood vessels create tumors. In the case of VHL, it occurs in about 10 different areas of the body, including kidney, adrenal, brain, spine, retina, lung, liver, the reproductive tract, I mean, it just goes on. And patients with VHL have, live with an endless number of pa tumors all through their lives. Each patient looks different. They don't know when the next tumor is going to arrive and where it will appear. So they don't start out as malignant, and in some cases they don't become malignant. In the case of the kidney or the pancreas, they can turn into malignancy. Uh, particularly the kidney, we have what we call a three centimeter rule. It's generally before they turn three centimeters, they won't become malignant. And it, once they do, there's a greater chance of it. So people take them out, the surgeons take them out at about three centimeters in order to prevent that. But in cases like the CNS and the spine, and in other cases, they grow and they create pressure, particularly in the brain or in the spine, that can lead to disability. And in the case of the brain stem, which is the control center of the body, it becomes very tricky to take them out if they grow larger. Again, it is a genetic condition, so if a parent has it, they have a 50% chance of passing it on to their child, but 20% of our population are de novo, so they're first in family, and there's no way of knowing to test for it if you're de novo. Uh, but usually it's picked up during a physical exam. For example, if it starts in the eye, when you go to an eye doctor and they see a lesion in there, this type of lesion is generally VHL. Actually, it really is VHL. There are different types of VHL in terms of the genetic mutation, and there's more of a tendency for kidney versus adrenal and that type of thing, but what they're finding is is that this, these tendencies are more of a gray. Used to be very black and white, but as people are living longer, they have a greater chance of getting it in another organ.